Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Is that a washer? That's exactly what it is. Oh, are we going to make necklaces out of washers? Well, no, we're not going to make like necklaces out of washers. What we're going to do today... Or maybe we're going to make bracelets out of tiny little washers. Well, no, we're not going to make bracelets out of tiny little washers either. What we're going to do today... Or maybe we're going to make glasses out of washers. No, we're not going to... Make glasses? You mean like drinking glasses out of these washers? No! Eyeglasses. See? Ow, brother. Hey friends, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel? I think I've heard of that. That's in Seattle, isn't it? Uh, no, I, I think you're thinking of the Space Needle. The Space Needle? Oh, you mean that 605 foot tall tower that was once the tallest building west of the Mississippi River and offers breathtaking views of the city, the Cascade Mountains, Elliott Bay, and other islands? That's the one. Never heard of it. How, brother? Well, it doesn't matter anyhow. We're not talking about that tower. We're talking about the Tower of Babel found in the Bible. Oh, does it have a revolving glass floor too? Uh, no. Let me read the story to you from Genesis 11, 1 through 9, where it says, Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. What in the world? So God knocked the building over? No, it doesn't say that. It says he confused their language and scattered the workers all over the earth. Why would he do that? Well, the people on earth at the time thought they were so good that they could make a tower reaching up to heaven. They were proud people, and they were chasing fame, trying to make a name for themselves. Look how good we are. Sounds pretty prideful. Oh, it was. And you know what they say, pride comes before the fall. But I thought you said that the tower didn't fall. Well, it doesn't say that it fell, but it says that God dealt with their pride by confusing their language and scattering them all over the earth. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call scatterbrains. And all we're gonna need is a bunch of washers and a knife. Let's pretend that this pile of washers is the people from Genesis 11. They thought so highly of themselves that they decided to build a tower that could reach heaven. So we'll stack them on top of each other like this. Now your job is to stop them with this knife. No problem. That would have been the easy way. But then they probably would have tried to rebuild it again, like this. But God knew that the issue wasn't the tower, it was their hearts, their pride. He needed to humble them and make them depend on him again. So we'll pretend that this knife is God. And instead of just knocking over the tower, 
he's gonna scatter them like this. Unbelievable, they're scattered to and fro. Exactly, and we can learn from this. Pride is at the root of sin, and God wants our hearts and will do whatever it takes to deal with pride and draw us back to him. I guess pride really does come before the fall. And if we're smart, we'll learn from this story. Amen to that. Learning from the Tower of Babel is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that pride is at the root of sin, and the people from Genesis 11 were so proud they thought they could build a tower that reached heaven. Exactly. But God humbled them by confusing their languages and scattering them throughout the earth. His plan is to draw people to him, not their own fame. Very good. Now, all this talk about towers got me to thinking about another famous tower. Oh, really? Um, what tower is that? I'll give you a little hint. What in the world? The Leaning Tower of Pizza. Get it? Um, yeah, but that doesn't look like it's leaning very much, though. Oh, good point. Huh? Very sneaky, Dad. Save some for me, will ya? Uh, yeah. We'll see you around. <gasps> Today's episode is sponsored by The Old Schoolhouse. The Old Schoolhouse? Wait, are you talking about that trade magazine for homeschooling families worldwide that includes smart ways to teach subjects and encourage parents to stay the course? That's the one. Never heard of it. Ow, brother. We used to use it when we homeschooled you and your brother, remember? Oh, yeah! The Old Schoolhouse is packed with all kinds of good articles and features to keep up with trends and new teaching tools. Sounds like they've got something for every subject, every grade, and every student. Oh, you got that right. And right now, they've got the big ugly bug sale going on until June 28th featuring unmissable deals on their comprehensive faith-based curriculum. Just use the code UGLYBUG to get a quarterly membership for just $49, giving you access to all courses and resources. Math, science, language arts, history, art, music, foreign languages. Sounds like they've got every subject covered at prices that can't be beat. Simply click the link in the description below and you'll be on your way to an amazing school year. And if you'd like to possibly sponsor an episode or a series of Family Moment episodes, just drop us a note at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We'd love to talk to you about the possibility of partnering with us as we teach the truth about what matters most.